Hello everybody, it's me here. How to Cameron. Guys, I lost my job. I have no money. I am broke. How sad. Only joking. Haha. <laughs> it's all clickbait. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about two situations that happened at work, which were really goddamn annoying, but funny. So it's good news, guys. It's going to be a good video today. And they both actually happened on the same day. I am continuing doing this job. Unless I'm fired, which, to be honest, is probably coming down the line, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I actually have a new job. Uh, I'm going into security, guys. As you guys can clearly tell, I'm here to, to secure the premise. Guys, no one's... I'm securing the pre... The, 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 what do you call it? The What's the word called? I'm getting into security, guys. i got a new job. Fantastic. Which actually is better pay so that's a huge win but i am going to continue um doing the job that i that i do with burton um before this video starts if you guys enjoy this video smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new today i make lots of great content and um, unfortunately the last video i made talking about my job talking about how i make a lot more money than everyone else uh, i didn't go well um apparently a lot of people they can't take a joke uh, let me just explain the joke for you. Um, the job I do at Burton, I get paid £15. Okay, it's not very much money. The joke is, I don't make much money off it, and I'm saying that I'm richer than all of you. Okay, is that, do you guys understand the joke? Okay, well that's good. Well, unfortunately, my girl Rose didn't like the joke, she didn't find it funny. Um, this girl, uh, I actually have a bit of history with. Um, she, um, she drugged me. She spied my drink and took advantage of me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, oh God, I'm in so much trouble for this one. <laughs> no, this girl I've talked to in the past, I think like three years ago, I, I talked to this girl, um, with the interest of, of dating. Okay. We could say, but it didn't, it didn't grow into anything. And that's not a big deal. You know, it was, it was three and a half years ago. Couldn't care less. But she followed me. Out of the blue, she followed me. And I was quite surprised to, to see that. Because obviously, it has been such a long time. So she actually called me sexist. Uh, that's why she uh, stopped talking to me. Because I, I went through my breakup, right? And this was like the first girl I reached out to. Because she's hot. You know, she's good looking. Um, so that, that's just where my mind was at. And she said, oh, I thought I unfollowed you because uh, you were a sexist. And, you know, I was like, okay, whatever. But then she followed me out of the blue. So I was pretty happy about that hopefully you know we can rekindle a relationship here rose but unfortunately no unfortunately no it was a anger follow um unfortunately <sighs> oi i legit wanted to call you out as your video titled i make a lot more money than you <laughs> with, with uh the word lot in all caps was next to a video about <laughs> the heating price crisis where people can't afford food or heating i thought to myself what a effed up world we live in <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this straight rose she was browsing youtube she was browsing youtube guys um social justice warrior leftist retard rose willow <laughs> i don't think i can say all of this but we'll see what happens she was browsing youtube and she saw how to cameron's video <laughs> featured on on the home page uh my new job in parentheses i make a lot more money than you she saw this video and she was vexed. It was next to a video about the the <laughs> the price heating price crisis and people not able to afford food and heat it. Oh, good God! So pretty much, I'm worse than Hitler. You know, she was so angry about it. She couldn't take the joke. She didn't see the joke. Um, honestly, Rose, um, your friends, Jesus Christ, you must have such a good time with your friends. Literally, they make one joke and she's there offended. <laughs> she's livid. <laughs> She, she can't take a joke, poor Rose. I feel bad for her, to be honest. To be honest, I would... You're, you're really hot, though. So, even though you're, like, a leftist and everything, like, we can still date if you want, Rose. The bridge is not burned. To be honest with this situation, it just shows uh, how in modern society, um, how much women can get away with um, by being attractive. Like, I'm not trying to say that in, like, a sexist way. Because, obviously, there are lots of, you know, attractive women out there. They're great people. But unfortunately, there are people out there that are just batshit crazy, uh, women. They're out there, they're batshit crazy. But just because they're attractive, you know, people um, don't hold them accountable for it. 
And to be honest, my ex is the exact same. So Rose, you know, if you're interested in bending your sexuality, I don't know if you're straight, you could date my ex. Um, you two would legit get on. Um, I, I'm, I'm not even taking the piss. Like, you two would legit get, go on, get on with each other really well. But anyway, we're getting into today's video, okay? Uh, that's a very long tangent, but hopefully you guys laughed a few times. Rose, you are my enemy number one. And if I see you in public, I will, I will attack you. <laughs> oh, this is not funny at all. This is just gonna get me in so much trouble. Rose, you look like a square, to be honest. You're not that hot. I'm hotter than you. Okay, maybe that. It must be that. Maybe she wanted to date me, and I didn't make the, I didn't make the correct movements, and I let her down. Maybe that was it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about you know the situations that happened at work, the negative situations that happened at work. So I talked about in the video how you know I either do raffle ticket selling or I do program selling, um, Burton Albion. And effectively, you know, when you sell these raffle tickets, uh, you know, you buy a raffle ticket for a pound and you, you know, you enter into this draw and all the money, they put all the money together, they split it in half and then that's the prize. You know, the people who buy the raffle tickets, they know that, you know, the club makes money off it. That's the whole point of it. But it's like a foundation thing. So it's for a good cause, 100%. So pretty much I was, you know, selling these raffle tickets. I've been selling mostly raffle tickets. Like sometimes your shift can be selling programs, which is a lot easier because typically with programs, people come to you to buy the programs. But with raffle tickets, there's more of an element of, you know, you're going up to people trying to entice them to, to get a raffle ticket. Um, and I was out selling the raffle tickets. I'm, I'm quite good at selling the raffle tickets. I'm quite good with people. I'm quite good at, you know, engaging with people and getting them to buy these raffle tickets and I mean before people say oh Cameron you're just proud of being a capitalist slave bro it's literally to charity <laughs> like they're off the money goes to charity <laughs> like it's for a good cause okay it's for a good cause but pretty much uh, I was really busy and it was really cold and I'm out here doing the raffle tickets on my own I'm on this one stand right and there's three three guys doing programs and they're having it easy and I'm here working super hard on my own selling loads of raffle tickets i'll sell them between two stands if you don't know how football works you obviously a football pitch has four um lines what do you call them i don't even remember i'm an idiot four what are they called on the on the side sides yeah four sides so four stands and one of the stands uh there wasn't the raffle ticket seller was not there so i was having to cover these two stands so i'm working super hard and to get between each stand, you have to go through a steward. That's actually what job um, I'm going into. Uh, I'm not doing that at Burton Albion, but I can't disclose where I'm working. Fantastic news, because it's a security job, guys. I'm not able to um, let my guard down, let's say. But pretty much you have to go between the stands, and it's a real faffle because of all the security. So because of that, you know, I'm really you know struggling, but that's fine. I'm doing my job. I understand, you know, if someone was ill, they couldn't cover their stand. There's nothing to worry about. Anyway, it comes near to the uh, end of the selling period and this old woman, this old disabled woman, she's got a walking stick. She came up to me with this used ticket and she said to me, oh, this is to some value of you. And I was like, what do you mean by that? And I didn't really accept it. She was trying to give me this used ticket and I was just thinking to myself, like, what, what do you mean? And she was like, do you know where the bin is? And I looked and I said, oh, the bin's over there. And then she holds her like walking stick to signify that she's disabled and I don't think she realizes that I don't care <laughs> I don't care if you're disabled it, it doesn't give you an excuse to be bloody rude it doesn't it doesn't give you an excuse to be rude but it was it was the sarcastic remark you're know, coming up to me who is selling I'm selling raffle tickets I'm not a binman okay I'm not doing nothing I'm here actively busy like it's not like I'm just on my own just doing nothing just having a wank um but pretty much this this woman She's trying to give me this ticket that she wants to put in the bin. And she's saying to me, oh, this is to some value uh, for you. Sarcastically trying to get me to put it in the bin, which just seemed really disrespectful. Like this woman, she should have just come up to me and said to me, listen, hey, can you just put this in the bin for me, please? W would have just done it. Would have just done it easily. Even if she came up to me and said, oh, do you know where the bin is? Would have done it. Not even a question. But the fact that she was sarcastic about it and the way that she was, oh, she was such a bitch. And then after that, you know, I say to her, the bin's over there and she holds up a walking stick. And I was like, okay, whatever. I just, 
I just got the ticket off her because I didn't want to obviously create a fuss. And then she says, oh, can I have a raffle ticket? And I'm here getting the raffle ticket out and I'm struggling because my hands are freezing because it's cold, it's cold weather. And I rip, um, you know, when you rip a ticket off, you can rip it off a bit skew with and it rips it a bit, but it doesn't matter. You can still see the number on the raffle ticket. It doesn't make a difference, okay? Unless you want to collect the bloody raffle ticket. That's the only time it would matter. As I'm doing it, because I'm struggling to do it, because it's cold and all the tickets are stuck together, it's really annoying. She then says to me, oh, they really are desperate for people to do this. She's pretty much insulting how I'm doing the job. And at that point, I was just thinking to myself, like, you fucking bitch, shut up. And I got it out, and I got the ticket out, and I gave her the ticket. And obviously, she gave me a pound, and that, that was fine. And then as she walks off, she says, oh, by the way, if you walk around, you'll get more people buying the tickets. And I'm thinking to myself, like, are you fucking, are you kidding me? Are you legit kidding me? And I just said to her, like, be quiet. <laughs> as she walked off, and she didn't look very happy. And I just threw the fucking ticket on the ground. Because... Screw her, you know, it's just so disrespectful. And, and that's the thing, I mean, it's not really a, a service job. I mean, maybe it is a service job because I'm working with people, but, you know, I'm not, it's not a formal job. You know, it's a casual job. I'm pretty much here, you know, to help the club. That's what I'm doing. I'm not here working on a salary per se. I'm working here to help the club and I sell a lot more tickets. I bring a lot more money for the club than the club pays me. Like I get paid 15 quid, I easily make the club. 40 50 quid by working there easily through the ticket sales even on a quiet day so i'm there pretty much helping the club that's how i see it now 100 percent. if i was just standing there doing nothing i get it yeah you can criticize my work you can say oh you need to walk around or whatever but i wasn't even quiet there was literally people before her coming up to me she was literally waiting for me to serve her and it's just so stupid like i was already doing my job fine and then she had that criticism and then when you compound that with Trying to be snarky, like, oh, I think this is to some value of you. Trying to make it out like this piece of rubbish, you know, trying to make it out as a joke. It's just the dis the disrespect was disgusting and you don't have an excuse for that. But anyway, yeah, that happened. And obviously, you know, it's a bad situation, but for every like, oh, like 500 people I've dealt with, I would say that I've only had like one bad experience. But then literally later down the line, Literally, we're walking. I'm walking with these guys that have sold the programs. They've had a much easier shift than I have. But that's fine. I, you know, I'm trying to help the club. I'm not salty about that so much. I'm walking uh, past the stadium. So pretty much the way it works is you have the pitch, you have the stands, and then you have the gates outside. And then in between the stand and the pitch, you, know, you can walk through. But only employees and people with special privileges can walk past there. So I'm walking past there to the office. And I'm walking past and all the money is in loose change and it's in these pockets and I'm having to hold it in these pockets and it's really like, it's dangerous. Like if I move it, like all the money could fall out and this is like a hundred quid worth of money. And you know what, you know, football fans are like, like there's so many of them. And if you drop the money, like what's going to stop a lot of them just coming over and trying to grab it all? Like it's a very real situation that could happen. But I'm walking past and you're walking past all the fans and this woman literally says, oh, can I have a raffle ticket? And I remember stopping and I remember looking at the raffle tickets and looking at the change. And I realized I literally couldn't sell her a ticket. I couldn't rip it off. Like I didn't have the capabilities to do that because if I did, I would have had to put the money on the ground and I would have risked dropping loads of money. And it was past three o'clock. It was literally kickoff. You know, I'm at work till three o'clock and it was gone three I think it was like two past three that match had literally already started and I literally just said to her sorry no and I walked past her and I was quite abrupt to be honest I wasn't particularly polite but I was stressed okay I was stressed I walked back to the office and the head guy the head guy the guy who pretty much employs me comes over to us three and this guy's like six eight this guy's huge uh, I'm, I'm six two I'm not used to looking up to people it's it's a weird situation to be in and I'm with these two guys, uh, three guys, that are selling programs. And we're literally at the office. And this guy comes over and he says, we've never heard this before. And he's literally looking directly at me. Uh, but he's trying to talk to all of us. Like he's trying to pretend that he doesn't know that it's me. But it's obvious that he knows it was me. And he's literally saying to, to us, like, I've never had this before. But apparently one of you has sworn at the fans. And I was legit like thinking to myself, are you taking the, are you taking the piss? I didn't swear. 
you know, I wasn't able to sell this woman a raffle ticket. It was past three o'clock. And also the money was so, it was so inconvenient for me to sell her a ticket. It just wasn't worth it. I get, you know, if you're Burton Albion, if you're the bloody community trust, you're going to be thinking about it like, oh, that's a pound lost. But the shift ends at three. It was gone three. I didn't say to her, no, fuck off. Like she made it out like, I literally just said, no, sorry. And I walked past and I was completely within my rights to do that. She literally lied about me swearing about her. And that really signifies what you have to deal with in like service. Prove I was not guilty. He literally went up to her and asked, you know, do you want to submit a report? And she didn't want to. So she straight up lied. That's her just admitting to her lying and, and capping. And it's just disgraceful, to be honest. It really is. But yeah, you know, that's what I dealt with. And to be honest, I'd have probably the... I think I've done about five or six match days. Those are legit the two only incidents I've had. Negative incidents. And there's so many positive interactions I've had. A lot of the fans are really good people. And like, I, what annoyed me about it was I was working hard, especially with the first woman. It's frustrating to me to have someone criticizing how I'm doing my job when I'm doing a good job. Like I'm literally doing a good job. It's such a piss take. Like if I was doing a bad job and she came up to me and said, oh, it would help if you walk around, you'll sell more tickets. Like fine, whatever, I get it. And if she was polite about it, I would have understood, but it wasn't that way at all. I was legit serving people just before, you know, she was, you know, coming up to me and you can't move around the stand when you're serving people. You can't be selling tickets while you're on the move. It's just so stupid. Sorry for being so ang ang angry in this video, being a bit livid, I know. But thank you for watching, you know, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new today. I just wanted to say that I've absolutely been loving doing videos. I le legit feel, I legit feel regenerated making content again because for so long I was just starving, like my creative side, you know, just focusing on my degree and doing YouTube videos, it's really made me happy. It's really improved my life a lot. So thank you guys for the support and hopefully you guys um, enjoy my channel. Hopefully you guys have been positively affected by my videos. Unfortunately, Rose, um, Rose hasn't been positively affected by the videos but that's good because she doesn't deserve happiness in life because she is leftist bitch ah. <laughs> that was a terrible outro jesus christ i'm taking the piss by the way rose if you're actually watching this bro allow it okay you're, you're good looking okay just be a little bit more normal okay